Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeet and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Pachala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy man. Today's topic we are going to talk about the tumor wherein there is increase in the cell number. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another 5 in 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes and today's topic is the Hodgkin lymphoma. This is an extremely rare lymphoma. This is an extremely rare lymphoproliferative disorder. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future notifications. So always remember if we are talking about Hodgkin lymphoma, always, always, always remember RS cells. It is not my brother Ranjit Singh. It is the Reed Stenberg cells. So Reed Stenberg cells, these are the giant cell. And if you look at these Reed Stenberg cell, they have got a specific typical appearance of owl's eyes. So this is the owl's eye appearance. Now these are the chief malignant cells in the Hodgkin lymphoma. So, when we take a section, histological section, there are two mirror images nuclei which are seen in case of Hodgkin lymphoma. So, this Hodgkin lymphoma, there will be proliferation of the malignant lymphoid cells. These are the Reed Stenberg cells. Always remember the Reed Stenberg cells when we are taking a histological section, we will see that there is a typical owl's eye appearance. The two cells will be more kind like a mirror image nuclei. So, the Hodgkin lymphoma, there is presence of Reed Stenberg giant cells in the tissues. There is persistent generalized lymphadenopathy. Since it is a lymphoma, we will see that a persistent lymphadenopathy will be there. So, there will not be intermittent lymphadenopathy. The patient will complain of a persistent journalized lymphadenopathy. As you can see, this is a journalized lymphadenopathy and persistent also. So, the, that will be uh, uh, all the time the lymphadenopathy will be there and in the whole body. So, that is why it is extremely rare lymphoproliferative disorder. This is not common which is seen. Now, the lymph node always in every every malignant neoplasm of the lymphoid tissue, the lymph node will be not tender and the rubbery lymph node that we have already talked about in the previous video. Initially, the lymph nodes are going to be freely movable, right? So, there, there will be freely movable lymph node. Then in the advanced stages, these lymph nodes will become matted and they will fix to the surrounding tissue. So, there will be non-tender, firm, rubbery and fixed lymph node in the later on or the advanced stages. So, if it is left untreated, then what happens? The spread of, there can be spread of lymph from one lymph node to another lymph node and the spread, it can be spread to the vital organs. So, it can spread to the lean, uh, spleen, lungs, bone marrow. So, what happens when there is a spread of lymph node to the other vital organs? It will cause when it is to spleen, it is to uh, lymph node, <coughs> lungs, bone marrow. It will cause hepatosplenomegaly. There will be enlargement of spleen as well as enlargement of liver which is seen. If it is left untreated, then it will also affect the other vital organs. See also we see some general symptoms. So there will be generalized weakness because there is persistent generalized lymphadenopathy. So we will see more generalized symptom in case of Hodgkin lymphoma. There will be weight loss, pain in abdomen, pruritus. So pruritus is a skin disorder wherein the patient feel like itching all the times. And also sweats in the night. So if we take a histological section there is going to be proliferation of the neoplastic lymphoid tissues and as, a, as well as there can be non-neoplastic inflammatory cells which can be seen. So basically the chief malignant cells in the Hodgkin lymphoma are the Reed Stenberg cells. These are the giant cells having owl eye appearance. So because the image, the mirror image of nuclei, this looks like the owl's eye. So that is why the owl's eye appearance, which is a characteristic typical feature of the Reed Stenberg cell, which is a characteristic typical feature of the 
Hodgkin lymphoma. So guys, this is about the Hodgkin lymphoma. How do we treat it? We do the radiotherapy. We do the chemotherapy. This is how we treat the Hodgkin lymphoma, which is extremely rare lymphoproliferative disease. Always remember the reed Strindberg cells in the Hodgkin lymphoma. So guys, this is about the Hodgkin lymphoma. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. So if you have enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up also. You can comment in the comment section below. And there is a link in the description box below to support me on Patreon as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes. So guys, till then keep reading, keep learning, stay motivated. I will see you soon in the next video.